Hello everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Jimmy, this is my wife, Genesis. She's currently peeling apples for me. Today we're going to be making an apple pie because it's Thanksgiving and this is my first time making a pie. So, first things first, we're going to make the crust. Let's start off with 10 ounces of all-purpose flour. I wonder if like, you have to be super accurate with this since it's baking. Yes. Alright. So, nine and a half ounces. Alright. <laughs> oh no, I went over by point one. One teaspoon kosher salt. Okay, now we're gonna throw it into a food processor and let it mix. Now we're gonna add two sticks of butter. They should be frozen, but I didn't have time to do that. Just... Now we're gonna add about 16 tablespoons of ice water. Let it I think it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh oh. I think it's too warm. That was starting to get sticky. Thank you, my assistant. My wife's assistant. Yeah, I should do it. Whoa, look at those butter layers. I'm doing it right. Okay, now, after you've done that, plastic wrap them. Let them sit in the fridge for like at least 30 minutes. Movie magic, finish editing the dirty stuff out. So we're gonna start with three pounds of apples. I got a mixture of Granny Smith's and Honeycrisp. I think you just, technically you only need to do one um, type of apples, but I wanted to try two different types to see how that goes. Now that you sliced up all your apples, or whatever you're gonna do, but I'm doing apple. Just set that aside, and we're gonna do the filling that's gonna go on top of the apples. So I'm gonna start with three quarter cups of azúcar. Am I saying it right? Yeah, azúcar. Azúcar, or sugar. Three quarter cups of azúcar. This is like a personal preference, I guess, but two to three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I guess it depends on how doughy you want your pie crust to be. So I'm just gonna do two pinch of kosher salt. Oh, doing fresh nutmeg would probably be best, but I don't have. So I'm just gonna do ground nutmeg. By the way, Kroger, if you're watching this, would you like to sponsor my channel? I use a lot of your ingredients. I was just at the store earlier to get all this stuff here. Half of this. A half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Ooh, that smells good. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Remember the cinnamon challenge? Do people still do that? 
No, I'm good. <laughs> Sprinkle of allspice and some ground clove. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> allspice is sprinkled. Yeah, that's good. I might coat my rolling pin with some flour just so that it doesn't stick on there. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna start rolling this out. What's cool about this work surface is there's like a guide on like how big of a pie crust you're making. So I think this is about a 10 inch pie. So I'm gonna roll it out to about 10 inch circle or I don't know, whatever I can get. I don't care if it's a circle or not. Just so long as it covers my pie dish and I'll just cut off the excessive pieces. It's like a very, um, what's the word? It's like a very weird looking heart. Who knew baking can be so fun? If this doesn't turn out well, I'm gonna give up on baking. <laughs> so after you roll it out, you wanna roll it back up with the rolling pin like this. Unroll it. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. That was a little bit of a mess. Okay, so trick is, from what I've heard, you don't wanna press down the pie crust, you just wanna lift it and drop it in. Like this. Yeah. I'm a little worried, so I'm just gonna leave a little bit hanging over the edge. Fuck this up. Okay, it doesn't have to be super pretty, but uh, hopefully it tastes good. Right. Well, Preheat the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I'm gonna throw some pie weights on this. So what I'm doing is I guess what they call line baking. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But I guess it means you have to put pie weights down and I don't have any traditional pie weights so I'm just gonna use rice because we have a shit ton of rice. You want to let it cook for 35 to 50 minutes, so movie magic. That would suck if I just dropped this. All right. So what I said earlier about 30 to 40, 50 minutes or whatever, that's for later. That's for when you're actually baking the whole pie. But for the crust, you want to do it for um, 12 to 15 minutes. All right, now that it's kind of cooked, I'm gonna poke it with some holes. All right, so I, I don't know. I think I might have messed up. The crust kind of shrunk. But uh, it turned out pretty good. I mean, it tastes pretty crunchy. I just broke off a piece. So now I'm just gonna poke some more holes in it so that it deflates a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff on here. This 
filling. Yeah, get in there. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> I don't know, it's not turning out the way I want it to. It's okay, it's your first time. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut off some excess. I'm not gonna cut off a lot just because I learned at the truck. Wow, look at that. Damn, yeah, even though know, I messed up kinda on the bottom crust, this turned out pretty good. Gotta let it cool off for four hours before we can eat it, which is perfect because we're gonna eat dinner at like five and it's one, it's one, two, three right now. Sweet. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little cooking journey. My first time making a pie. Um, I'm gonna try and make another one sometime in the future. Don't know which one yet, but uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Watch my other videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.